And greetings, fellow Machina users. Fontaine here, VIP SoundLab.com, and we're back on Machine 2.6.8, a free update for Native Instruments Machina users. Now, one of the cool things about this new update is it hosts a lot of improvements when it comes to, you know, your sound design as far as creating bass. You know, I would say most of it is geared more towards jam, but it works awesome in machine as well. So if you're MK1 and you're MK2, what's really neat about it is when it comes to the GUI, it fits nice and neat on one page right on your, you know, your two screens there. Now with machine jam, you also can manipulate these parameters using your touch strips controls. One of the awesome things about it is they give you a lot, a lot of presets. If you look over here in the sound tab, you have under bass synth, you have bass lead pads and sound effects. I'll get into some of these sounds uh, towards the end of the video. Now, immediately you notice it has a very straightforward GUI. You know, you have your modulation amount here. You have your amplitude decay knob here. You have this little guy right here where you actually can morph uh, your waveforms, you know, to start endpoints, things of that nature. You have your um, octaves here. You have a distortion drive control here. You cut off your resonance as well as your glide time. The glide time actually can be turned on and off on page two. Now, the limiter I have here is basically just me experimenting you know, making my own custom presets, as you can see right here. So that's me just making my own custom little bass. So with the bass synth, I was actually surprised to actually hear the sound quality on it. It sounded very, very brilliant. So my hat's off to Native Instruments because they did a very, very awesome, awesome job with this bass synth. Very useful. You know, um, I know it's going to be some people who are going to say, you know, on a modular, you know, standpoint and things of that nature, you know, they might feel well. It's something you really don't need. You know, there's other requests that are out there, but trust me, Native Instruments has something very, very special for you guys in store. And uh, yeah. All right. So when it comes to the bass synth, one of the things I'm going to do right here is we're going to show some of the uh, oscillators and parameters on here. So check it out. So you can really get in there and really. Get in there and really, you know, get your sound design done and. Fine tune your bass. Me, I'm more of a sub type guy. So what I did was I went in here and created my own sub. Oh, and your octaves are here. So very, very subby. Nice. So what I did was I made a very simple uh, drum pattern here. And I want to use the bass synth with it. And maybe I'll turn that down just a little bit just to emphasize uh, the bass synth a little bit better here. So we'll turn that pattern down just a little bit. So then that way when we use the bass synth, we can hear it a lot better. All right, so very simple, very straightforward, very, very useful synth. Again, my hat's off to Native Instruments. I'm loving this plugin. I think a lot of producers are going to get a lot of use out of this. So when it comes to Jam, uh, some of the new things that they have for that is um, they have an isomorph keyboard mode where uh, the melodies uh, and the chords, uh, you can go through your different chords and scales like that with Machine Jam and makes things a lot easier on there. Now with me, unfortunately, I don't have Machine Jam, so I'm not going to make any videos on that, but you know, you guys can check out some of the videos by producer tech on that. They have some really awesome videos over there on machine jam. All right. So I'll tell you what, um, before we end the video, let's go ahead and take a listen to some of the 
uh, sound presets that they have in here that are already set up for you guys. Now I just clicked on big guy and you can see right here one of the cool thing about it is they have a lot of the uh, effects already done for you. So then that way it makes life really easy. Whoa, that's a little loud. I might want to turn that down just a little bit. Which is really awesome because that is taking advantage of the glide control. As you can see right here, when it comes to the glide control, this is off and this is on. So when you turn your glide on, you can really get in there and really get in there and glide those notes, really bend those frequencies. Or if you just want to make your own like little See how that sounds. Yeah, so a very interesting bass engine indeed. And I'll go through a few more right quick. How low is probably one of my favorite ones. Very, very subby. Sounds very similar to what I was just actually trying to trying to create. Let's check out some of the leads. I like float as well, very eerie. Has that eerie, eerie type vibe to it. Yeah, so that's pretty much going over some of the basic features of the new bass synth from Native Instruments Machine 2.6.8 update. This is your boy Fontaine, VIPSoundLab.com. If you have any questions or concerns, hit me up. If you're not a member of www.VIPSoundLab.com, now is definitely the time to sign up. We have something very, very special in store for you guys next month. I can't talk about that right now, but definitely, definitely, if you're not a member of the site, make sure that you're signed up because we have some awesome, awesome new tutorials that are coming for you guys. So believe what I say when I tell you. <laughs> Make sure you're a member of www.vipsalad.com for the free machine tutorials that are coming. So with that being said, head over to uh, nativeinstruments.com. If you haven't uh, signed up for the new 2.0 software, make sure that you do that. If you already own the Native Instrument Machine software, make sure that you open up your Native Access account and download the free update. I mean, hey, can't be free, right? I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.